I'm Steve Lanius, and I'm honored to serve as flight director for this mission. I've been at Ballou since 2004 and have been involved in every mission in Ballou's history. This is my ninth mission as lead flight director. Every mission we've conducted so far has been preparing us to have humans on board. During our last mission, we rehearsed putting customers on board a fully fueled vehicle for the first time. Audrey here on my left actually strapped in for that mission, helping us to prepare for Tuesday. My number one responsibility as flight director is the safe execution of this mission and the safety of my launch crew, which includes our astronauts. New Shepard will not launch until I'm satisfied that it is safe to do so, and I give my go for launch. I'm proud to say that we've just successfully passed our flight readiness review and are currently on track for launch at 8 o'clock in the morning, Central Daylight Time, on July 20th. Our flight readiness review process examines all elements of the New Shepard system, focusing on changes since the mission readiness review, which we completed on July 8th, including closing out of action items and open planned work. We've looked at all the vehicle systems, including hardware, software, procedures, and launch crew readiness. We are not currently working any open issues and New Shepard is ready to fly. We've evaluated the crew capsule systems, including GNC, avionics, pneumatics, separation and descent, escape gate. We've looked at all the vehicle systems, including hardware, software, procedures, and launch crew readiness. We are not currently working any open issues and New Shepard is ready to fly. We've evaluated the crew capsule systems, including GNC, avionics, pneumatics, separation and descent, escape, and crew systems. On the booster, we've completed checks of all subsystems, such as avionics, pneumatics, hydraulic, everything has been exercised in detail. The weather forecast currently shows a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms in the early morning hours on launch day, which clears in time for our launch window, with light winds and temperatures in the 70s. The upper level wind forecast is favorable for launch. We will be confirming this with weather balloon releases tomorrow and on launch day. Weather is currently not a constraint to launch. We will continue to monitor weather conditions over the next two days for any unfavorable conditions. We are still working our nominal L-2 to L-0 day procedures to prepare for launch. We expect to be ready to launch on schedule. Astronaut training is currently underway and will be completed tomorrow. Based on practice training with stand-in astronauts, we are fully confident that our astronauts will be ready to fly on Tuesday. Our training is comprehensive and gets the crew prepped for everything they need to know about the vehicle. Our astronaut training program is fully compliant with FAA requirements for crew and spaceflight participants. It consists of 14 hours over a two-day span and includes classroom instruction, demonstrations, and practice in a training capsule. The training covers nominal, off-nominal, and emergency procedures, including zero-G seat egress and ingress, emergency egress, and fire response and emergency breathing mask usage. The training culminates in mission rehearsals covering five different scenarios and a final exam. I'll get a report from our astronaut trainer, crew member seven, at the end of training tomorrow that astro confirming that astronauts are go for rollout and launch. Here's what you can expect on launch day. Rollout at midnight at approximately T minus eight hours. Our propellant load begins at T minus three hours. We'll give a go for astronaut load at T minus 45 minutes and close the hatch on the crew capsule at T minus 24 minutes. Expected launch time currently still is uh, 0800 Central Daylight Time or 1300 Universal Coordinated Time. Of course, we have a very talented engineering team supporting the flight director and the mission. Chris will talk more about that in a few minutes. In summary, the launch crew is ready, the vehicle is ready, the crew is ready, and the flight director is ready. Audrey, over to you.